all-around champion of last night, Kalimina, and Boganskaya, two members of the team champions. Kalina, remember, at a 9-9 in the team championship on the beam, that would not be good enough to take over the lead tonight. She mounted with a round-off back handspring onto the balance beam. It's a full twisting back handspring swing down. Very difficult move. She shows such poise on this event. It affects every move. It's a switch like leap into a back roll extension. It's a more creative combination. Hands bring to a layout step out. Three C songs in a row. She's fulfilling all of her requirements and more. Now watch this dismount. She also does a full twisting double back. Very difficult to land, but look at that. Fights for the landing. This is a more difficult dismount than the double backs that we've seen. Derek Lienema has two golds coming in to the night, two silvers tonight, and looking for a gold in this event with the goddess Bogan Staya, the last to go. But that is your leader still as of this moment, John Wanning. You can see here, the excellent toe point, perfect extension on every skill. Something Kalina does so well. Two back handsprings to a layout step out. Again, see the perfection in her body alignment. A very difficult dismount, full twist on the first somersault and then pulls that second one around and almost a stuck landing. And we have a brand new leader for the gold. The all around champion, a team champion, Natalia Kalinina, a 9962. John Wanning of China is second. Zamaskal of the USA is going for the bronze, but there remains the goddess, the world champion, Svetlana Boganskaya. She opened with a front tuck mount right into a Sison. Right off the bat, she does back handspring, two layout step outs. Showing her combination, it's called the Gymnastics Acro Series, combining dance and acrobatic elements. layout step out she's very aggressive on this event you can see the sharp movement the style's a little bit different preparing for her dismount she knows she has to stick this dismount double back oh little hop forward on the landing and you know right then that they can take that deduction. When you have to beat a 9.962, there is no room for deduction. Lina at the moment is first. Zhang of China is second. Zemeskal of the USA is third. But it all depends on the scores for here, how they will actually finish in the middle race in the B. The music you hear in the background, the next rotation, the final event of the evening will be the floor exercise. All of the beauty and all of the music of a great women's gymnastic event. You are truly watching what will be considered one of the best gymnasts in the world in the history of gymnastics. 
She has dominated the sport over the past few years. World champion, European champion. Just needed to stick that landing, but we'll see what the judges do with it. The moment she's running over to perhaps her best event, and that is the floor exercise. The final event of the gymnastics here in the 1990 Goodwill Games. We are in the Tacoma Dome, and still there has been no score yet posted for Svetlana. Here it is, 9937. So they take first and third. Kalinina gets yet another goal. That's her third. Zhang of China gets the silver, and Boganskaya of the Soviet Union gets the bronze. Zemesko finishes fourth. Okino sixth. Back with the wonderful floor exercises in a moment, but now let's go to Larry King. By the way, one correction I mentioned tomorrow night's hockey game, the United States and the Soviet Union would be at the Tacoma Dome. It'll be in the Tri-Cities area. The Tacoma Dome is the home of the semifinals and finals in hockey. There's one more apparatus coming up in gymnastics, the floor exercise. And Larry King, welcome back to the Goodwill Games. We're going to try something tricky here. Seattle's downtown monorail was built in 1962 for the World's Fair. Our own Steve Largent, our Voyager guy, is going for a thrilling ride tonight. Steven, you're moving. <laughs> That's right, Larry, I sure am. You know what? I've been doing some hustling, some fast talking, and I scored four tickets for tonight's basketball game. For the United States with the team silver and a bronze on the unevens tonight. And don't leave out the Chinese tonight because they have come up with a gold medal. Zhang won in the unevens. And Lili was right in into the beam Scoring until the last moment. 9-3-2-5 for Kasuge, who had some real problems on the floor. And now, Kathy, we come to Henny Oni. Henrietta does some of the most difficult tumbling passes in the competition. A good variety of difficulty, more importantly. tied for third or for the bronze medal in this event at the recent European Championships, just behind Boganskaya and Groshkova of the Soviet Union. She opens, whip back, through to a full twisting double back, piked position, extremely difficult pass. one of the best, if not the best, triple twist being done by one of the girls here. Very nicely done. Very few gymnasts do that anymore because they have trouble with the landing and trouble with getting that twist around. Double twist, punch front, and this is not her last tumbling pass. This is just a little side tumbling pass to throw in. Ends with a pike double back, another good landing. As I said, a lot of difficult tumbling passes. Not three passes, but four passes. Takes a lot of energy to do that. Last night, the bronze medal in the Goodwill Games in the all around. And tonight, looking for medal in the floor exercise. Any Onady of Hungary, 16 years old from Bekiskaba. Here's her first pass. She does a whip back right here through to a full twisting double back or a full in in piked position. Here's that triple twist. Count them. It's great. One, two, three. Finish it and drops it right out of the Four, air. Nine, nine eight, eight, seven, five. Seven, Or Henny Onady with two Americans to follow. I think she's shaking her head saying, what do I have to do to get a 9-9 nine nine here? She had a 9-8-7-5, same score on Friday night. Here's Betty Okino with a 9-8-8-7 in the team competition. <laughs> with a full 
interesting double back. Nice height, but she, I guess, stepped out of bounds. It looked like she was right on the tape. She must have gone over. Flag went up, you saw it. Triple turn. Very difficult turn. Pike double back. tumbling run. It's important she sticks this. Tuck double back. Very nice routine. Doesn't Better quite have the back. same difficulty as say Henrietta Onodi and some of the other gymnasts coming up, but she did everything very well, very oh, cleanly. What the flag? What else? Yeah. Of course, Good. going out of bounds, that's one-tenth of a point deduction. Here's that first pass. She does a full twisting double back in tucked position. She lands right near the line and tries to stay in. But I guess her heel just went right over the edge. Jim Semesco won this event on Friday night in the team championship with a 9-9-3-7 and she is Betty Okino's teammate and she is waiting for Betty's score before she begins. Here's her final tumbling run. Tuck double back dismount. Here it is, 9-7-1-2. Score for Betty Okino, 9 At the moment she is in second place, but here's Kim Zemestro. A silver in the team, a bronze early this evening in the unevens, and trying to duplicate her score of the team championships when she was first with a 9937. Kim is very dynamic on this event. Good tumbler. She has a lot of energy in her dance. Very effective music because the audience can really get into this music. And you'll see later on in the routine they do just that. Her first pass is a pike, full twisting double back. And the audience is in it. The audience always loves that part. Here's her middle pass. This is her best one. Three whipbacks due to a tuck double back dismount. And again, that's always a crowd favorite. almost as if she's winding up for her final tumbling run. You can hear Bella saying, strong, strong, strong. Double back very high. And very strong. And there's that smile back where it should be on Kim Zemeskel's face. The Pasadena crowd loves Kim yeah, Zemeskel. Yeah, and so does Bella. <laughs> The question it is, is with both Skaya and Alina and I yet to come, will it be good enough? The one thing a gymnast has no control over, what the judges give the rest of the competitors, you can only do your best, and that's what Kim has done. Piked, full twisting double bat. And this middle tumbling run is very exciting. Three whip backs through to a double nine, bat. Nine, one, two. One, two. Not as good as the other night, but she's got the lead at the moment. 9-9-1-2 for Kim Zemesco. 